Hey everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity coming at you with another video. And today, we are going to do a little bit of belt review on my GY6, which technically also applies for any CBT transmission scooter uh, with advantages and benefits of wider, skinnier, longer, or shorter belts. Uh, so far, I have been running an 835-2030 belt, and I'm gonna go ahead and change to a 842-2030 belt, both Gates belts, uh, in this particular instance, and uh, kind of see what we can get. So with the other belt, 835, I was getting some kick butt acceleration. Uh, the belt's shorter, and I believe it's narrower. We're, we're gonna test that today. Um, and then this belt is supposed to be longer and wider. So let's go ahead and take the old belt off and let's do a little bit of comparison. Um, and at the same time, uh, a little bit of CBT maintenance and go ahead and clean out the CBT of dust and debris from the sliders and kind of inspect the, uh, the Polini variator that we have in here. Anyways, let's go ahead and roll that intro. All right, now that we got that over with, let's go ahead and take the CBT, uh, the belt, the clutch, and the drive face off. So first let's inspect the drive face. Uh, it looks like I've been going right here and as high as up to here on the belt. Uh, there's still a little bit more room I can go on the edge of this to get a little bit more top end, probably because of this belt. Same with the, uh, the actual variator. There's two rings. There's an outer ring and an inner ring. I guess that inner ring is my more of my cruising. And this is as close as I can get to the middle. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the sliders. They don't look that bad. It's a little bit of a wear spot right here. But, I mean, they don't look like they've been used a lot. <laughs> so, maybe we'll clean out a little bit of this dust and stuff. Uh, with the clutch, as usual, normally when you look at the clutch, there's the pads are shiny again. Probably just lightly brush those. Probably end up just sandpapering this a little bit to kind of give it a little bit better grip. Uh, and then the NCY clutch bell, it's got its grooves. It's twisty grooves. It doesn't look like it's really been used that much which technically it hasn't really been used that much so yeah let's go look at the belt so here's the 835 belt and here's the 842 belt the 842 I don't know if you could see that <laughs> The 842 is a little bit longer in the end, if you can see that. And then we're going to definitively decide how wide this belt is. Now, the 835, the 835 measures in at 19.24. Nineteen point two four. I don't know if you can see that. And then the new belt measures in nineteen nineteen point three eight. So not a huge difference, but it's a little wider, and it'll be able to push those plates further apart and be able to ride up 
higher because it's longer. So the old belt is shorter and skinnier, the 835. This is your takeoff belt. This is your torque. If you live in a mountainous, hilly area, this is probably the belt that you want. If you live in Houston, where everything is super flat, then an 842 is probably what you want. Now, when it comes to the Ruckus, uh, the Polini belt and the Gates, or, or the Bondo belt, the stock belt, um, the stock belt, I think, is wider and longer than the Polini. Um, so you really got to check on that. But anyways, let's go ahead and put this 842 in now. Uh, it doesn't look like the belt's directional in any way. So here we go. Right, now that we got the belt installed, uh, we'll go ahead and do a quick uh, test run around the block. Um, it's This belt is significantly longer and only minutely wider, um, but hopefully wide enough to fill that last bit of silver edge on the Polini variator so that I can get maximum spread or, or maximum top height on the gear ratio on the, on the, uh, on the CBT. So let's go ahead and take a ride around the block and see what we can get. Uh, this is just a test ride, uh, not a max speed run. Uh, the next video, we'll do a max speed run. So here we are. We're gonna take our little test strip that we normally take. Uh, I said I wasn't gonna do a speed test, but it kind of looks like that's where I'm headed to, to where I'm gonna go. I guess I'll go as fast as I can. I mean, it is a new belt that needs to be broken in and haven't really done that yet. Uh, quick note, uh, the password JDM mount has an adjustable arm for how hard you can pitch the, uh, the mount. Well, I pulled it in a little bit and my vibration's gone in my seat that I used to hit at 40 miles per hour. So I guess the uh, mount was laid over too far. So it went ahead and uh, it fixed my issue. So let's reiterate here everybody, the 835 was a shorter belt and a little bit skinnier of a belt. And what does that create? That creates the ability for your belt to uh, not travel so high and give you a little bit, give, give you more torque and more takeoff. So from a dig, that's what you want. Or if you have a place that's a lot of hills, that's what you want. You probably want that torque more than you want that speed. Now, of course, you always have to adjust the weights too and everything. I've got 12 gram weights in here right now. I may try 11. Um, and then, at the same time, all right, never mind. We already made it to the flat part. police car there so I'm not gonna go too fast because that police car could fly over the freeway at any moment and arrest me what was I gonna say oh yeah so with the 842 it's a longer belt it's a wider belt this is your top end belt this is what you want for top end and if you live in a flat area like moi usually that's my best spot to do the speed run but Nah, I don't know which way the wind's blowing either. I don't know how much that's going to affect me. Uh, hopefully I have the speedometer down here on the bottom left somewhere. Um, with the GPS from the GoPro to give you a better accurate speed. Rather than the inaccurate vapor that I have in here right now. Which by the way one day I'll, I'll adjust. And then we'll see how Mr. Windshield over here helps me out here with my tucking a little bit. Kind of smooth out some of the air around me to see if I can get a little bit more speed uh, some people were talking about 
wanting to buy this i may make like three or four sets um but if you want one uh message me on facebook or instagram and then we'll i'll i'll analyze whether or not this type that i made will work for you or not Like we're gonna get much of a run out here. No. Would have been nice. I guess the next part we're gonna go through is gonna be pretty flat. Oh, I could have got on the freeway right there. That would have been silly. Too many cars in front of me. Everybody go away! Oh, I left my signal light on again. I need to put some kind of light on here. Because every time I leave my signal lights on, a kitten dies somewhere. And I don't want to be responsible for the death of thousands of kitties. Because daily, I leave that light running. <laughs> It's the, the switch is probably flipped while it's sitting in the garage waiting for me to start it again I may have done entire rides with it turning left the entire time there's another on ramp for a freeway right there uh, okay if the uh, if it looks like it's a green light then I'm going to do it otherwise probably not Come on, mister! How am I supposed to go fast if you're going slow in front of me? Yeah, there you go. Signal left. Get out of my lane. Go! I went before was 64 miles per hour on the GPS on my GoPro and by the way this glass shield right here blocks a crap ton of wind <laughs> a whole lot all right I got 70 on my here I have no idea how I but it might be a new record or at least it feels like it will be Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the belts. I think it was about time that we kind of reviewed belts a little bit. Um, I don't think I've really ever talked about it before other than one belt's better than the other, but I never really gave a reason why. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see everybody in the next video. Bye, bye, bye.